Hey guys, Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I've got lots of spare time here uh, to be videoing with you today while I am doing this chili sauce, and I wanted to share a little something with you. The importance of having good knives on the homestead is huge, uh, and also having good knife sharpeners. There are several go-to knives that we have in our kitchen because they hold an edge really well and their shape and design works really well in our kitchen. Um, I also have an ulu that is um, that my mountain man made for me and that is in a storage box right now since I started doing my kitchen and I am trying to find it because that's what I like to use when I'm doing my chili sauce. So I need to find that. Um, but that's a great tool, great choice uh, for tools for the kitchen and for cutting because of its size and your abilities with that. Um, the other thing is I have several knives here that the mountain man has made for me and he he is his attention to detail is great let's just put it that way but this is a beautiful knife that he made for me and that is shaped really well and is really useful depending on what I am doing in my kitchen so you can see his craftsmanship and his handiwork he also actually put a bearing in the bottom of that um, so that you can use it for a bow drill if you're out in the woods. So our, a lot of our knives go from kitchen to field, so this is one of them. And then I also have another knife that he made for me. And he does his leather work also, but here is this knife, just handy. Um, this one I use a lot for fat wood out in the woods. and. Uh, gets washed off really well and used in my kitchen. Now this one here is um, from LT Wright Knives. This is an awesome knife also. This is a coyote. Hey Chad, good to see you. Glad to have you on here and God bless to you as well. The backhoe is still down. We need a part and we are searching for a fuel pump for the backhoe. So we're making progress. We figured out what's holding it back and keeping it from running. We just need to find the part now. It's hard to find parts for the older backhoes. So thanks for asking and God bless you as well. Um, another company that makes great knives is, and I'm not sure how they say it, either Rada or Rada. Um, it's R-A-D-A -A knives. These are fantastic. My grandparents always use these all the time and I can get them locally. Um, but I will probably, it's, it's Rada or Rada cutlery. Um, I will see what I can do in getting a link in the description of this video for them because they are also really awesome as well. But the Mountain Man is um, very creative in his smithy and has made several really awesome knives. And I just wanted to show them off because I really love this one with the uh, antler. It's a really dark and very distinct antler and is just really um, an awesome looking piece. And LT Wright's knife is another really good one. These are all knives that can go out in the field and be used when you are doing your uh, field dressing as well as cutting in the kitchen when you're making things like chili sauce. So I figured rather than waste my time just sitting here chopping, I thought I'd um, share that with you because the other thing that's really important is most people you know, don't realize how important a sharp knife is. Doll knives are actually, in my opinion, more deadly than a sharp knife because when they don't cut well, you end up having problems and that's when you tend to cut yourself. But it's always important to be really careful with your sharp knives as well. So I encourage you to make sure that you have your essentials for all of your tasks in the kitchen. Um, as I've talked about many times before in some of my kitchen videos and other videos, we do a lot of our shopping in the thrift stores for a lot of our uh, equipment in the kitchen and, and throughout the homestead, uh, looking for good deals on older things like cast iron and... Uh, the old tools because that's what we tend to use. So, and knives, one of those, you know, some some things, and a knife is one of them, where you may end up spending a little bit more money, but when you have really good equipment that's gonna last you for forever, it's really important to have those kind of tools. So, we're frugal in some ways and spendy in others, um, just because sometimes it's, it's necessary to make an investment, so. I just thought I'd put that out there and I just wanted to share this with you. I'm also going to do another video um, a little later and talk about um, 
how to process your game meats or how to cook your game meats and, and get the best results because many people are really, really fearful of having game meat because it's gamey and, and, and there's a lot of misconceptions and people just don't want to try the game meat. They're fearful where that is your best lean meat and there are no GMOs in that meat. There are no um, hormones or anything in the meat. And you don't even have to feed the animals. All you have to do is get a hunting license. So we will talk more about that. But I wanted to jump on and recommend that you definitely have good cutlery and good knives in your kitchen. Um, for all of your tasks. And when you have a knife that you can take from the kitchen to the field it's a very versatile tool and I thank LT Wright for that as well as my mountain man for providing me with uh, all the knife choices because in the woods just like in my kitchen I have backups for all of my equipment and knives are no different so when I'm out in the wild I have all three of these knives with me as well as the LT Wright Genesis knife um, which is also a really good one. Um, that's just out in my pack, and I didn't drag that one out. Um, but I definitely recommend checking it out. And when I find my Ulu, I will show you that too because I need to use it for this task. It'll make it go a lot faster. So I'm going to jump off, and thank you for joining me on this short video, and stay tuned for some more as I go through this process. I did forget to mention that I do have habaneros. I have, I think she brought me Four, three or four pounds of hobs, which I use for our hot sauce as well as our hot mustard, which is absolutely to die for. And there is a pun intended there. Uh, if you have too much of it, the potential is there. It is some hot stuff, but it's got really great flavor, and you just have to be careful how you use it. But I will share that recipe with you as well as my pickled garlic that we're going to be processing. I have 25 pounds of that and as I mentioned in my earlier video I have 160 pounds of tomatoes sitting here, 40 pounds of peppers, 200 pounds of onions and I've got my work cut out for me. So I'm going to hop off of here. You guys have a great day and I will be back on again to share more information with you as I progress through this process. So take care guys and God bless.